もげげもげげもげげもげげもげげもげげ
Hey everyone, Manly Badass Hero here with a plot and cultural reference summary for Mogako Castle. So you may be wondering what exactly happened there. Well, essentially the entire game was a dream reenactment spurred on by the Mogako King, telling Yonaka a story while she's in a drug-induced coma. The game outright tells you this at the very beginning, but without context, it's lost on a new player. Now, the events of the game are what I believe to be an accurate retelling of Yonaka's adventure, aside from the tail end of it. Note as the game lost direction and became even more surreal than usual in the final chapters. This culminates with Yonaka killing her brother, which I don't believe actually occurs. With the appearance of her brother in the Gaiden trailer, I think this about confirms that part is just a dream. The rest of the plot is pretty straightforward, so I'll get to the cultural references and hidden meaning of the game. At heart, Mogako Castle, aside from being a randomish dark humor game, is also a satire on otaku subculture. Mogakos themselves look like eco cats, and their obsessive nature, hive mind thinking, and bursts of anger that lead to infighting pretty much act out a typical thread on somewhere like 2chan or, or 4chan. You can almost switch out some of the words in their dialogue, and instead of arguing over prosciutto or high school girls, it'd be, My wife is better than yours. Go eat shit and die. This self-deprecating character is actually a common archetype in anime, manga, and dramas, and you can see similar examples in shows like Nurse Komagi, Excel Saga, or the Sinsax from the Toho fandom. Aside from representing otaku, they can also represent the player. The game has quite a few horrible bad ends for our lead, but almost all of them are optional and warn you ahead of time of the consequences. You don't have to see the bad endings, but almost every player will be tempted to when given the choice. One bad ending outright seems to reference Corpse Party, a game that had similar optional bad ends. Corpse Party has been admitted to being torture porn by its creator, and Mogako Castle moralizes into that many times. You could almost call an RPG maker game version of Cabin in the Woods. A series with a similar theme is the When They Cry series, which includes anime and visual novels like Higurashi and Yumineko. Both feature cute characters basically suffering, and both also represent the reader or watcher in some form of another within the storyline itself. In the end, what does this all lead to? A game about otaku and how they relate to Moe. You have two contrasting sides in this game, the typical Mogekos and the Mogeko King, and Negemogeko with his heretic friends. The Mogeko King faction represents giving in to your desires, and sexualizing Moe, while Nege Mokako's faction are much more about restraint and respecting Moe. This is shown in their actions throughout the game. Typical Mokakos are always out to molest Yonaka, while Defect Mokako is implied to be attracted to her early on, but never acting on his impulses. He always plays a protective role, and only elopes with her when Yonaka makes the first move. They're all perverts equally, as seen with how they all have libraries of porn but essentially one side is harmless and the other are destructive. Of course, in the end you're not supposed to take things that serious, and really, you're just supposed to enjoy a random, unforgettable ride. Anyway, some trivia for the game. I've seen people wondering about the Mogekoa anatomy, and how they reproduce. Well, in one of the bad ends you find out Mogekos are born from eggs and that can act like xenomorphs. In the creator's comics, a Mogeko makes a cameo and is shown to have a long, tentacle-like tongue and sharp teeth. So I think it's safe to say, despite looking cute, they're actually horrible alien-like creatures. The next trivia is the orange fangs you see throughout the game. Supposedly, these are birds in reference to Pun Pun, lead character of the manga Oyasumi Pun Pun. Pun Pun is a highly depressing manga that deals with a lot of the awkwardness of life and growing up, and I think this actually lends evidence to the game having a little more meaning than it seems. Anyway. That's it for my commentary on Mogeko Castle. If you listened to all this, I thank you, and if you haven't seen my playthrough of the game, then feel free to check it out in the links provided. So, I'll talk to you guys another time. Take it easy.